Yo, so today I'm going to be breaking down this guitar melody for someone like Trippy Red, Ian Dior, or the Kid Leroy, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw some drums on it. So this is more of like a happy, angelic uh, guitar melody, like not heavy or anything, pretty light. So the sound I started off with is this double tracked six strings A. Usually I use the B version, but for some reason I just picked A. I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. And then here's the MIDI for it. Overall, it's super uh, simple and repetitive. Pretty much what I always do for like guitar melodies. So you can see right here, there's kind of like a chord-ish, like repetitive pattern here in like the middle. And then the top notes pretty much just repeat the whole time. Just with like little slight variations, like an extra note there and then extra top notes and a little roll in the second half for variation. And this is in the major scale, so it does tend to be a little bit happier than the minor. So yeah, overall just a super simple pattern. Then I went ahead and randomized it and did Alt S to strum it just to humanize it a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the effects off and then play the pattern. So here's what the first pattern sounds like. Yeah, so overall I really like the way this turned out and I really think this repetitive A right here and then the little repetitions in the bass line uh, really help it like make it bouncy court sort of. And then something I wanted to mention with like specifically Ian Dior type melodies is that sometimes in his music he doesn't always use like trap drums, there's sometimes like pop drums. So with this I made sure it sounded good with both like the trap clap pattern and then also like the more pop clap pattern. So here it is with like the trap one. So it sounds good, but then if I go in ahead and switch it to a more like pop pattern, it'll still sound good. It just helps like the melody be a little bit more versatile because that is a little bit of a busier clap pattern. So you don't want to overcomplicate like all the other melodies. And then I went ahead and rendered that main guitar out twice, but I put effects on it first. So the first one is the Clean Break a Guitar Rig preset. A reverb, just the decay turned up a little bit along with the wet slider. A love filter turned to there. And then I didn't use the phaser or this EQ on the first time I rendered it out. But then I just cut the lows and then added an imager. So after like the guitar rig and everything, the main guitar sounds like this. So it still sounds like pretty acoustic and not like very electric, which I kind of wanted for this melody. Because in the other ones, I used that Breath You Hold preset, which makes it sound like kind of heavy and more electric than this one. Then for the second time I rendered it out, I just pitched the original pattern up one and then added this phaser on the Deep Fish preset. And then also this EQ, which is the old telephone EQ. And originally it's like that, but I just went ahead and uh, pulled the five down. And that just adds a nice like high-end texture. It doesn't really add much, but it does spice up the melody a little bit. So here's what that sounds like. Yeah, so that's just a nice little accent in the melody, and that just comes like in and out. So for the next sound to kind of give it some low end and a little bit more movement is the LA Custom C7 Wash Piano from Keyscape. I like this one because it has a lot of reverb and it sounds really dark but it just plays out this pattern, which is just the bass notes of the chords right here, and then that A, and then just some random top notes that kind of fit with the bass note and made it sound good. So overall, this is just like kind of like a deep pattern to give the melody some low end, but here's what it sounds like. So it's like super deep, super reverby, and it doesn't, that's not like the actual sound because I did put quite a bit of effects on it, but I put Tape Cassette 2 on it with the Wow and Flutter turned up, Ambience on the Gator preset uh, halfway down, Pretty Chorus just on the default preset, and then this EQ to kind of cut out where the 808 would be, but also cut out like the high pitch noises so it kind of doesn't sound like a piano almost, it just kind of sounds like a low pad. Then I went ahead and rendered that out and reversed it, so now it sounds like this.
So it just kind of sounds cool and also kind of accentuates the chord change, which I think will sound pretty cool when there's like an 808 in here. So for the next sound, which is kind of like an accent sound, uh, I use the LA Custom C7 Softest Piano, which is also a great piano from Keyscape. And it plays out this pattern, which is just all like the notes in the guitar pattern just stacked on top of each other. Uh, it sounds pretty cool. And then just some random transition notes that I saw fit that kind of like make it transition smoother. So it's not like super heavy chord, dead space, super heavy chord. It's a little bit more like it flows better together. And I put a ton of effects on this as well. Uh, so I'll play without effects first, but I also ended up strumming this pretty heavily a lot more than like the piano or anything. So here's what this sounds like. So very simple. I've done this in a couple other melodies, uh, but I put it on three on the mixer and then I put effects on it. So I did ambience again on the Gator preset, finisher micro on the infinity preset to give it that sparkle. And then old telephone EQ again, imager uh, boosted pretty much all the way up. And then pancake on the a little bit of a bigger preset with the LFO at two bars. So I rendered that out and I didn't reverse it or anything, but then I ended up putting gross beat on it as well. So it's the quarter gate in, so it's kind of like a rising effect. And originally the chops were all like this size, but I went ahead and lengthened every other one just to make it sound a little bit cooler. Cause with these small chops, you weren't really getting like what the melody sounded like. It just sounded like kind of a riser. So I wanted to actually like hear the melody in it, but still have this cool gated effect. So after all this, the accent piano sounds like this. So again, you kind of lose that piano feeling, but it still does sound really cool and a nice accent sound. All right, and then the last piano in the beat is the Wing Upright Tremelo. Again, I used a bunch of effects that make it sound not really like a piano, but it goes ahead and just plays this super simple pattern, which is notes from the guitar. And it literally just repeats this the whole time. And then the second half is elevated. Elevated? Who would say that? But yeah, overall super simple and repetitive and it sounds like this. And I also really like this piano because there's kind of like a rattly noise in it. Uh, it sounds really cool. Yeah, so overall just like kind of like a bounce pattern almost like it doesn't affect the melody that much but it just adds a bunch of energy and then i went ahead and pitched that down an octave which i really like to do with the wing upright pianos in keyscape because it gives it this cool effect and it sounds like this now So it sounds a little bit less like a piano and more just like a plucked instrument and then as you can hear i put pancake on that and then just a EQ to cut the lows. All right, so this next sound is a synth from the Omega Serum Bank, which is a free serum bank. Uh, you should go grab that. But it's the medieval synth, and it kind of has almost like a string feeling to it. Uh, but here's the MIDI, and it just plays out this really simple pattern. And then the only variation is these last two notes just go up to E and C sharp. So there's really not much to it. It's just a nice little accent pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the effects. And here's what it sounds like without effects. Very simple accent pattern. And then with effects, which is pretty much just uh, ambience on it, it just makes it sound more ambient and sits in the background a little bit more. So it sounds like this. So just more of a background sound and doesn't really interfere with like the guitars or anything like that. All right, so for the final sound, it's a one-shot guitar called the Baghdad guitar. And it sounds like this. So kind of cool, wobbly kind of thing. And then I ended up putting the envelope on it like I do 808s with the hold turned all the way up and nothing else all the way up. And it just plays this uh, simple pattern again. Uh, and something I really like to do in these kind of melodies is utilizing slide notes. They always make it sound just a little bit cooler because so you can kind of get that feeling of like sliding your fingers on the fretboard and like gently changing notes, which you can do with a real guitar, but you can't really do with uh, VST guitars that well. But overall, very simple pattern and sounds like this.
So just a nice little accent pattern and it layers really well with that synth from Serum. All right, and then for the final sound, which is the bass, I use the Ample Bass Lite version and it sounds really good for being a free plugin. And here's the MIDI for that. It just copies the bass notes and then I did Control A, Alt U to chop everything up and then it just repeats like this. And then I made sure to adjust the velocity so it's kind of like bouncy and wavy. And I didn't really want to use like a synth bass for this melody because that's what I always do. So I wanted to switch it up with the acoustic bass. And overall, I really like the way this turned out. So here's what it sounds like. All right, so I don't really remember where I was because FL just crashed on me twice, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over the mixing and then start on the drums. So on the main guitar, just added a low cut and then an imager. On the accent guitar, reverb and then pancake. A reverse piano a low cut and then imager accent piano nothing uh, the high piano uh, pretty much the same thing as everything else just a low cut and then pancake serum through the ambience on the gator preset and then the old telephone EQ on it on the secondary guitar nothing and then on the bass just kind of boosted the lows and cut out of the highs so yeah that's pretty much it and then for the arrangement uh, didn't really do anything special. Uh, I just kind of arrange like by ear, like just taking things out as I see fit and then laying out the stems. But I also did do this effect that I really like to do in these kind of melodies, which is like a riser and then a pause and then like uh, ambient sweeps up. So it gets like super uh, ambient and like reverby here and then it cuts out for where the drums would drop. And then I just added a crinkle effect from uh, my kit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the melody. Then I went ahead and pitched it down one, so we're in D flat major. So yeah, here's what the final melody sounds like. All right, so now we can go open a new FLP and then throw the loop in there and then start with some drums.
was uh, pretty good drums. I really actually like the way those turned out. That's probably like the first time in probably a year that I've liked drums that like sounded good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I don't think I've ever had my hair down in a video. I look homeless. It's time to go back up. But also, I don't know if any of you guys are like photographers or anything. But if you have any suggestions for like a good low light camera, because that cinematic ish video it wasn't really, but like the silent cook up one, but uh, there was a lot of like noise in it, and overall it just didn't look the way I wanted it to look. So I want to know if there's like a cheap, good like low light camera that would make it look crispy in the darkness. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, streams uh, Tuesday, Thursday probably because I have a bunch of videos scheduled, so I'll have time to stream. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the final beat.